First way I love using Perplexity Pro is for local market research. When you open Perplexity, it'll automatically be started on a fresh thread, but you want to be sure to go to the bottom and make sure the Pro toggle is turned on. In the search bar, I'll put the following prompt. Create a detailed table of fine art galleries and upcoming exhibition opportunities in Northern Colorado. Make sure they align with my fine art photography business and include whatever details are best. Then I'll hit shift enter a couple of times and paste in details about my business. Afterwards, I'll hit enter and look at the initial results. As you can see, Perplexity goes out into the world, finds relevant details, and puts them together in a way that's easy to navigate. Every time I do a deep dive with Perplexity, it's typically two steps. This initial stage that we've just done, and then step two where we dig for deeper details and refine the results. Now that it's finished the initial output, let's have a look at what it gave us. If you take a closer look, you'll notice a bunch of little citation bubbles sprinkled throughout the results. You can click any of these to go to original sources and learn more about how it came up with the answer that it gave you. Looking at these initial results, I'll pick out some key details that I'd like to learn more about. Maybe a couple of galleries stood out, or perhaps a couple of the opportunities have upcoming deadlines. Once you cherry pick your choices, put those in the search bar again below. Hit enter again. When Perplexity is done with this second round of revisions, you'll see that there's distilled details ready for you to have a second look at. The second way I love using Perplexity is for pricing strategies. Let's have a look at how I help my friend in Europe do some local market pricing for her branding business. She's based in Romania and normally has international clients like North America. But in this case, she was wondering, what do people in Romania pay locally for the same kind of services? These are all things that she's used to pricing for a different market locality. And with the help of Perplexity, we were able to dial in the details. Let's put in the following prompt. Create a comprehensive pricing analysis for freelance graphic design and branding services in Romania. Include a breakdown of different brand packages, specific pricing models for collateral, hourly rates, and project-based pricing. Make a table for each of those. Include things like printed posters, printed invitations, and copywriting for social media posts and email newsletters. Then we'll hit enter and watch the magic happen. Perplexity will go out into that specific market locality and find out what people in that part of the world are willing to pay. Once the results are ready, we'll have a look and if there's anything that feels off, we can make adjustments for round two. She mentioned the client had an in-person networking event coming up and that she would need a printed poster, email newsletter, social media post, and digital announcement. You can also add any additional details like timelines or specific budget ranges for the client. And now you'll have a result that's refined and aligned with your goals. The third way I love using Perplexity is for opportunity research. Analyze upcoming fine art opportunities in Northern Colorado for the next three months. Include exhibitions, grants, artist residencies, and events like festivals. Create a prioritized list and rank it based on alignment with my fine art photography details below and potential for career advancement. Don't forget to add some extra details about your business and also to add some details to have it think outside the box. I'll put details like that in as well as the details about my brand. And then we'll hit enter. You can watch in real time as Perplexity goes out, finds the relevant details based on our given data, and then presents them in an easy to follow format. Maybe only a few of those opportunities interest me. I don't need deeper details on everything. So I'll go through and cherry pick what I think's best, ask it for additional context, and hit enter again. I might ask it things like, how much does it cost to attend these events? When are the submission deadlines? And are there any red flags I should know about? The fourth way I love using Perplexity is for strategic planning. Whether it's for my own business or helping others through my consulting, Perplexity helps me distill the data that often feels like it makes my head spin. Let me show you what I mean. In a fresh thread, I'll put the following prompt. Help me create a strategic roadmap for establishing a stronger brand presence in Northern Colorado for my business over the next 12 months. Create separate tables for things like key events, networking opportunities, potential collaborators, and ideal clients. Then I'll hit shift return a couple of times and add the details about my brand and any additional parameters. And then we'll hit submit. Once the results are ready, it's time for step two again. Define and refine. We won't be interested in everything it's giving us, but once you cherry pick what makes the most sense, give it some additional parameters and things you'd like to learn more about. For example, identify which of these opportunities have historically led to the strongest gallery relationships and sales for award-winning wildlife photographers. Being specific like this is going to help Perplexity give you the best results. Setting boundaries is also good. Whether it's timelines, budgets for being involved, or specific topics or themes, boundaries help define the data too. And finally, let's look at business optimization, perhaps my favorite way to use Perplexity on a weekly basis for my personal and professional life. 
often find myself using a big mix of different tech, from project management to spreadsheets and databases like Notion. Those are great tools, but a lot of times it feels like drinking from a fire hose. And this is where perplexity comes in. Let's say I'm working with Google Sheets or Excel, and I have a spreadsheet of different data or opportunities, but I'm not sure where to go next with it. I can give perplexity to these details, and then I can ask it to help me do things like analyze the overall patterns and trends, find any red flags, help me come up with a custom formula for Excel. The opportunities are endless, but giving it data and defined parameters are what's going to make it shine. For things like Notion, I might use a prompt like this. Help me create a framework for Notion to track and analyze my art business metrics, include sales patterns, venue performance, and marketing effectiveness. You can also add some tack on tacticals by saying things like, include any additional suggested tools or methods to efficiently work with this data. Using perplexity for business operations will help you create systems that scale with your brand and prevent feeling overwhelmed by all the data. The five examples I've shared have absolutely transformed how I run my business and help others do the same. But you don't have to do this all from scratch. To help you get started, I put together some free resources in the description, and I'd love for you to have a look. I've included some of my favorite prompts that I use to get things done, and you can adapt any of those to whatever industry you're in.